This is the luxury world. Get inspired with us today and tomorrow. Rolex timepieces are renowned symbols of opulence and elegance, having long served as emblems of both accomplishment and refinement. However, what lies ahead for this legendary brand remains a question mark. Predicting the future is always tricky, but in today's video brought to you by the luxury world, we will be exploring the top 5 predictions for Rolex in 2024. We will look at what is in store for Rolex watches in the coming years. If you still have not subscribed to our channel, we encourage you to do so now to stay informed about our future videos. Discontinuation of a GMT Master Watch and the Left-Handed Watches There is a concern about the potential lifespan of the left-handed GMT model. This Rolex variant, which takes an unconventional and unexpected departure from the norm, may not remain in production for an extended duration. The concept is reminiscent of Rolex's approach to certain Oyster Perpetual models featuring distinctive accents like yellow, turquoise, and red, which were introduced for a limited two-year period before being unexpectedly discontinued. This would represent a departure from tradition, given Rolex's historical consistency in offering a GMT Master with a Pepsi bezel since the inception of the GMT Master. Despite this departure, the idea is intriguing and could provide a refreshing update to the GMT line. Moreover, it would be fascinating to monitor how the prices of GME watches might evolve. If the Pepsi model were to be discontinued, it is plausible that its value could appreciate significantly, reaching the $30,000 mark. So, the best advice would be to consider acquiring a Pepsi GMT now, while they are still readily available at their current prices. Seize the opportunity while it is available. Another forecast suggests the potential discontinuation of one of the steel GMT Master II models, with ongoing speculation pointing towards the GMT Master II Pepsi variant. These rumors, circulating for around three years, attribute the possible discontinuation to reported difficulties related to color fading on the ceramic bezel, specifically the shift from blue and red to blue and black. The GMT Master II Pepsi holds significant popularity among the models and is currently the most challenging to obtain. There is a presumption that Rolex has curtailed production in anticipation of discontinuing this model in 2024. From an external standpoint, wholesale prices have shown relative stability compared to about a year ago. However, the watches are now less abundant, and there is a noticeable uptick in wholesale prices, indicating an increasing rarity. Introduction of a new lineup Moving on to our second forecast, there is a desire among enthusiasts to witness the introduction of a new lineup this time in a 40mm size, which could be perceived as a rare release, a strategy Rolex has employed previously. In the previous year, Rolex revealed a range of stone dials in a 36mm size, highlighting colors such as green, turquoise, and the vibrant orange, carnelian. These dials proved highly attractive for women's timepieces and, in some instances, could be considered unisex, with notable figures like Lebron James displaying the turquoise dial. We are keen to see Rolex extend this concept to a 40mm size, potentially reintroducing it with additional stone choices such as lapis lazuli, soda light, ruby, bloodstone, or jasper dials. This presents an opportunity for Rolex to take more artistic risks and explore a wider color spectrum. Such visually striking and unconventional pieces often perform well in the secondary market, and the 40mm size better lines with contemporary preferences, offering a more modern and fitting option compared to the 36mm size. In a familiar move, the fluted bezel on a Platinum Daydate release does not bring much groundbreaking innovation. Given the Daydate model's inherent nature, there are limitations to how much it can be truly reinvented. However, in the realm of reimagining traditional classics, it would be interesting to see Rolex explore that territory once more. Thus, there may be potential for another distinctive addition to the Date 8 line, as demonstrated by the puzzle piece design, indicating a willingness to deviate from the ordinary. New iteration of Rolex Seed Weller Moving to our third projection, there is an expectation that the latest version of the Rolex Seed Weller, specifically the reference 126600, will be unveiled. Initially introduced in 2017 to mark the 50th anniversary of the Seed Weller, this model received acclaim for its aesthetics, notably the use of the iconic red text. Given Rolex's tendency to keep anniversary models in production for an extended period, the anticipation is that they might discontinue this reference and introduce a fresh approach. The rationale behind this lies in the reference 126600 size deviation, featuring a 43mm case, positioned between the 40mm predecessors and the larger 44mm deep sea. This mid-size placement has been unconventional, and there is a possibility that Rolex will opt for a 42mm size, like the Yachtmaster 42. 
An intriguing possibility raised is the introduction of a seed weller crafted entirely from titanium, drawing inspiration from Rolex's use of this material in the Deep Sea Challenge and the Yacht Master. The concept of a seed weller in full titanium is alluring and aligns with the appreciation for titanium models in the Rolex collection, deviating from the gold offerings. This potential development has piqued the interest and curiosity of Rolex enthusiasts. The future of Rolex Milgauss. Moving on to our fourth forecast revolves around the Milgauss. While the specific details of this prediction remain uncertain, there is a hopeful expectation that Rolex will revisit the original design, featuring the honeycomb dial along with a rotating bezel for the Milgauss. Many find this vintage combination highly attractive for the Milgauss model, representing a departure from the more contemporary versions with the GV crystal and the distinctive blue lightning bolt hand or the bold orange accents on the white or black dials. The classic honeycomb dial and rotating bezel provide a more traditional and timeless aesthetic, complementing the robust, utilitarian character of the Milgauss and conveying a genuine tool watch feel, in contrast to the earlier more refined iterations. The idea of revisiting this design is genuinely intriguing. Additionally, there is interest in seeing a few more options in the Rolex lineup, such as a white dial explorer, which would be a welcome addition. Many enthusiasts strongly support the widespread use of titanium. This material is favored for its exceptional versatility. It is lightweight, durable, highly scratch-resistant, and corrosion-resistant, surpassing steel in many aspects. Moreover, titanium is hypoallergenic, addressing concerns that some individuals may still experience allergies to genuine Rolexes. Thus, incorporating titanium extensively is encouraged. Rolex is already incorporating new materials like titanium and carbon fiber in some of its watches, and there's potential to see these materials used more extensively in the brand's watches in the future. Rolex's 190 lines revamp. Concerning the final prediction, we foresee a comprehensive overhaul and modernization of Rolex's 190 lines, which were introduced last year as a new addition to the Cellini collection. The goal is to achieve a bolder and daring presence within the realm of dress watches. Currently, the 190 line falls short of expectations, presenting it as plain and overly austere, lacking the distinctive essence commonly associated with Rolex. To establish a more robust position in the competitive dress watch market, Rolex may need to reconsider its strategy. There have been speculations indicating that Rolex is inclined to take such action. The 190 line appears somewhat out of sync with the brand's existing lineup, almost resembling an unconventional project. While removing the Rolex branding and substituting it with a label like JLC might make it more fitting, given Rolex's legacy, one would anticipate a more audacious and distinct approach to this endeavor. Rolex is renowned for producing top tire watches with limited production, emphasizing luxury and exclusivity. This commitment to excellence and exclusiveness is expected to persist in the future as Rolex endeavors to uphold its position as a leading and prestigious watch brand. With a dedication to design innovation, state-of-the-art technology, and sustainability initiatives, Rolex is poised for an exhilarating future, exploring various possibilities for its iconic timepieces. The trajectory of Rolex's evolution remains uncertain. However, one thing is definite. The company will continue to lead the way in luxury watchmaking for the foreseeable future. If you admire Rolex watches, you will not want to overlook what unfolds in the next chapters of their journey. These are our key predictions for Rolex's future. What are your preferences for upcoming Rolex releases? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. If you found this video enjoyable, please express your feedback by commenting and giving it a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel for additional content. Thank you for tuning into the luxury world, and we anticipate your participation in our upcoming videos.